I'm very pissed today. This place is not safe, and I'm not going back to San Luis Potosi again. So we've just arrived in San Luis Potosi. We're on a little bit of a journey here. Uh, we'll be talking about that more as we go along. Today we're just going to be here for the day, for the afternoon. So we're going to walk around the centro, kind of see what there is, grab some lunch, and uh, just see what the city has to offer. So let's check it out. If it's your first time to our channel, I'm Landy with my husband Roddy and our son Louis. We moved to Guelatelo, Mexico in 2021. Our channel is about a family living abroad and how to achieve financial freedom through real estate. So we're here in the main plaza of San Luis Potosi. Uh, we've only been here a few minutes and uh, just kind of taking it in, enjoying all the, you know, the historic buildings here. Lou is getting a little fussy, <laughs> but that's to be expected. Uh, so far everything seems really nice and quiet and it's a nice uh, Sunday afternoon. And so, so far we're going to check out some markets, see if we can find them and see what they have to offer and go from there. Let's go Bubba. So we just had lunch and now we walk around, try to walk to our parking lot and go to some park later. It's Sunday about 1 o'clock, the whole central area drives me a little bit overwhelmed. I feel it's too much for me. Now I'm standing on the little quieter street, 
some small, still pedestrian street, it's a small alley. I feel much better. There are too many things going on. Sunday, family out, dining out. And we have our son with us. He needs a lot of care. And yeah, that's how I feel. First impression here in San Luis Potosí. A little bit too much for me in the central area. <laughs> but but it's, it's fun. Lots of vendors, pedestrian streets. You see the locals. I feel it's very local here. And those architectures are also very pretty. Since we have a kid, so probably we won't go to any museums. If you like our video so far, please give us a thumb up. Welcome to our new Airbnb in San Luis Potosí. It's not very big, but when we found this place, we already knew it. The size is very cozy. But the thing is, it's right in the central and not in the central central. So it's less noisy. And uh, this is the little living area. No TV in the living area, just a small couch. Small dining, small kitchen, <laughs> but everything is new and very clean. It looks very new. And uh, <laughs> in the refrigerator, this is ours. This is ours. So they do offer different drinks, and there's a price on the top, like for the soda, twenty pesos, one dollar each. And some looks like a beer there, some water and the soda. So if you drink it, you just leave the money on the table. It's not free, but the price is reasonable for convenience. Oh shoot, now my son sees. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's close the refrigerator. What do you need? You want uva juice? Uva? Okay. So here is the little bathroom. Um, Surprisingly, it has a rain shower. When I booked it, I didn't even really check all the details. So it's nice and clean. Two bedrooms, two, which is good. We have a little boy, so if he could sleep here, or <laughs> probably not. So one queen size room, and this the another bedroom. So nothing, either one can be a master. There's okay, no master. So okay. it's queen size. So that was it. So the total cost of this one after tax oh, and okay. the service cleaning okay, fee, mama. 52 okay. US dollar a night. We only stay here for one night, so it's not bad. just arrived at the Tanga Manga Park. It's a huge park. And uh, since the park is going to close at 6 o'clock, so we just rushed to the kids' room. It's huge here and free of entrance. And we plan to go to that museum, but that was closed at 5 o'clock. So maybe tomorrow if we have time. The park is huge. A lot of kids here, beautiful day, lots of family here. And we could just drive inside the park at a slow speed. And uh, now we're here. Louis is crazy. He got so much energy to spend again. He didn't even take a nap. So let's see.
Cook or let's go looking for some food, Baba. Let's see what we can find here in San Luis Potosí. The plate, which is pretty much just a meat plate. You got calvachera, pollo fajita, uh, trompo, cecina, and chorizo, right? With no bal and vanilla cheese. And it's pretty much all you get with some tortillas, so we're about to enjoy it. Looks good, and um, let's give it a little taste here. Mm. Well seasoned, it's good. Right, Momo? Agree? Muy bien. Muy bien. Bye. Bye. Early the next morning. So this is what happened. Someone broke into our car. We got up very early this morning, tried to hit our road to Mount Dorey. And my husband is packing everything down. All of a sudden I heard the car beep, beep, beep. I said, what's going on? I went out, said, oh, we're coming down. And he said, no, someone broke into our car. In my mind is someone broke into the window, the glass everywhere, so everything's gone. In my mind is, shoot, I lost my I lost the Jimbo. We forgot to take the Jimbo upstairs last night. We just left in the car. Car just right parking into this Airbnb. So I went down to where, where it's broken. Oh, looks like someone just used some tour broke into our car. So all the windows are good. That's a good part. And uh, my husband said, what do you lost? Do your watch? Watch. A watch. And a watch. Jimbo. And his car seat. And, uh, and Louis car seat no. is gone. I so very upsetting, very upsetting. No. It's only eight o'clock in the morning. I haven't had my first coffee yet. The shitty day got to start it. I knew I have some feeling this place just not safe. And I learned a big lesson. Next time if I book Airbnb, I should find any apartment house has their own parking space. So this is a mistake when I book it. I saw, I saw the reviews are good. I didn't check the details until the landlord sent me a code. Says, I just parked here on the street in front of the, the apartment. It's free parking on Sunday. Other days, just pay for the parking. Said, okay, that's fine. So I'm very pissed today. This place is not safe. And I'm not going back to St. Louis Bordeaux again. So the most important thing is done. We got the car seat here at Walmart, pretty quick and easy. Um, so now just to install it and get on the road and then we gotta find a mechanic. One other issue I found was they tried to steal my battery and they broke the terminal. So I was able to turn the car on, but I'm afraid to turn it off. And if I turn it off, there'll be no power. So we'll see how it goes. Talk to you soon. So we're here at the auto mechanic, picking a little parts, a sensor that got broken last night, and we need it to get moving. So hopefully we'll just take a few minutes and be on our way.
So I am in the middle of the Nuevo Leon state now where we left the San Luis Potosí. We are about three hours away from Monterrey. That's a beautiful mountain behind me and the highway. We just stopped by, have some chips, have some burrito, take a short break. We're not going to eat any restaurants. We try to directly go to Monterrey, check in the Airbnb. So everything kind of settled. We're going to buy another Jimbo for more films. And without the Jimbo, we cannot have a very stable film. And we talked to the Airbnb owner, host. So he said he's going to take care of this, try to claim our loss as from the story, our things, our car got broken. And he is going to the police office, get a report, try to get some video shots from the, there's a shop opposite to the apartment they may get some night shot, night video. We may see some seeds breaking in. So hopefully everything can go better. So talk to you later. We're going back to hit the way. <laughs> 